could he be making $390,000? I'm gonna explain how this works, are you ready? Some of you, you're effortless. Your effort is like crap. Because I bet if I was with you and you did that, I bet you'd close the biggest deals of your life. My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about to blow. Like a You're all millionaires right now. Just quit giving your money back by losing the sell. What can a good, what can a good guy make a day if he does a good job? Goes out, does the six to eight visits, closes them all. Average ticket. What he can make? Yeah, just get, how much, 1,500 a day? Everybody ready? Let's do some simple math. Is that cool? I'm going to grab you. Watch, come here. What would this be like if, imagine this every day, okay? How many homes do you visit a day, six to eight? Yeah. He visits six to eight a day. Every day, I gave you 1,500 cash. By the way, what's 1,500 divided by eight? What is that? Is that 200? Okay, 200 bucks. Now, I want you to understand something. What's three, how many days do you work a year? There's 365 days in a year, right? How many days do you work? You work five days a week or six days a week? Uh, five, pretty much. Five? Cool, There's, so, so five days a week, 52 weeks in a year, you work 260 days a year. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, 260 times 1,500 a day. Somebody tell me what that is. 390. Is that 390? It's 390,000. I'm gonna ask you one question. Are you making $390,000? No. Could he be making $390,000? I need you to trick yourself for a minute. I'm gonna explain how this works. Are you ready? Okay. This, this is how we operate from now. We don't, look, people operate more from fear of loss than want for gain. See, I'm sick of telling him, dude, you can make 390 grand. Dude, you can do it. Dude, you, he don't want it. And I'm not saying he don't want it. Like, oh, well, if I could take it, I would, sure, who wouldn't want it? Fear of loss. Let's reverse this game. I would love to see you do this one day to one of your guys. Sign up a contract and an agreement, okay, an agreement. And choose one that you trust. A guy you know is going to be here a year, and I'm going to say, let's act like he was the guy. And I'm going to say, all right, here's the deal. I'm going to give you $390,000. And I want you to write him a check. And let him go deposit it in the bank. $390,000. When you see $390,000 go in your bank, you're going to be like, yes! Right? You're fired up. Now watch this. For the next 260 days... Okay, every house that he can't close, you're gonna take 200 away. See, we're not gonna give him 200. See, because you've already paid him up front. We're gonna take 200 away. Every house he visits should pay him 200 bucks, correct? Every house he can't close, I'm gonna take it away. Now, I've already given you 390. Did I already pay you for the year? Yeah, so now the rest of the year, he's gotta fight to keep it. So, dude, does he want his bank? Does he want to keep the 390? Or does he want to give it all back? Dude, I'm gonna tell you, I did this as a general manager. I had a salesman I knew that could go to 50 grand a month. I drew up, and he was making about 20 grand a month. I drew up a contract. I walked over, the owner got pissed at me. He didn't understand, because he's a small thinker. But I drew up a contract and I told him I'll pay the difference if it goes south. I walked up to him, I gave him 50,000 cash. Bam, go deposit it now. Every time you miss a deal, guy was averaging about a thousand a copy. Every time you miss a deal, thousand bucks comes back out. You owe me a thousand. At the end of the day, you're paying me back. We're going day to day, every day for one month. You know what happened? He gave back two thousand dollars. Guy went from making twenty grand a month to forty-eight thousand dollars because he didn't want to give any money back. See, once you start understanding. That money's already yours. They already requested you to come out and give them a bid. That's your money. It's your, that's your deal. You're not pretend, you're not thinking that yours. You're hoping to get it, which is why money doesn't recognize you. You're turning money off, okay? How I built a nine-figure business? Easy. That's my money. I've already trained all these people. I've already changed these guys' lives. I've already given them the way that no one else has given. I, I decided to call this stuff in advance. Now, here's my point. Would you, if you went to a door, if you knew every time you couldn't close it, 200 bucks came out of your account, would you try harder? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get it? Now, I'm going to ask you one simple question. There's a good chance that he's not going to go give you 390 grand. It's just, it's just the truth because, because it, that's not how cash flow works in a company, right? 
Now, I'm not saying he wouldn't want to or doesn't have access to the funds, but it's just not the way cash flow works. We can't just go give three people 390. It's not the way it works. The tax people don't understand it. It's, it's confusing. <laughs> Okay, now he's taking money back. His lawyer's like, I don't think it's a good idea to pay him when they ain't earned it yet. It's just, it's just a lot of awkward conversations. So my question is, can he, what did we say? What I'd say the most dangerous thing he ever had? Mindset. Can he realize that every door he knocks on, he already has 200 bucks in his pocket to close that deal, and he's going to be giving it back. Remember, want for gain or fear of loss. Fear of loss will be the greatest thing when your back's against the wall. So here's my point. When your back's against the wall, you work harder. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Dude, literally, when I pull you up here in, in front of everybody, and I say, all right, hot seat, let's go. When your back's against the wall, you don't want to let anybody down. But when you're not on the spot and you're over here and it's just you and a client, you're like, dude, if I, let the, if I don't get this deal, like nobody knows. Nobody got to hear this. The greatest thing that will ever happen, is there one person that goes to a door? Is there one person that goes to a door? Like, yeah. there's not two that roll together, right? I wish I could just roll with you guys for a day. And just be quiet, like, but just be quiet and just sit there just so I could see if everything that you nodded your head to in training, like, uh-huh, yep, got to have a great attitude, you check, yep, got to have a delusional belief, got to go in and have a good state, yep, got to shake their hand, make sure they really know how much I care before I go into the information, yep, got to walk into the place like I own it, you know what I'm saying, got to walk into there like this deal's already done, but yet I love them so much and I'm the expert, yeah, I wish I could just see if you guys would actually do that. Because I bet if I was with you and you did that, I bet you'd close the biggest deals of your life. Okay, now you're in the home with the lady. Uh -huh. Is that right? Yeah, sitting at the table. It's like you said, putting paper. Okay, pen to okay, paper. okay, you ready? So, so here's my deal. So We're all three sitting down. She gets up and just, oh, I got a call. I got to get to work. Okay, time out. Relax. Ma'am, I totally understand you got to get to work. And also, we got to take care of this problem. Would you agree? Yes or no? Yes. Wrap her up back in. Ma'am, I totally understand you got to work and I've got nine other places to be as well. But I'm here with you guys and you guys are important to me in this tree job. It is an important job and important things should be put first. Would you agree? Correct. Okay. So let's stop for one second. All I need is the green light. Can I get the green light to take care of the work? If I can, I'll make sure it's done I right. Guess, I got somebody else coming at three o'clock. I okay. got to go. Guys, listen to me. If you got somebody else coming at three o'clock, can I ask you a question? Are you looking for a cheaper bid or are you looking for someone to do it right? Look, I'm telling you this. I don't know how old you are. How old are you? 55. How old was she? A little bit older than me. Okay, do me a favor. Say, ma'am, I don't know how old you are, and I won't ask you your age. But by looking at you, I bet somebody's word means everything to you. Would you agree? I agree. Yes or no? Yes. You see my hand? Mm -hmm. This is called an ironclad handshake. Even though I have an agreement which will sign that says I'm going to take care of the work for the funds you're going to pay, see this hand? As a, man of the, as a man of my word, as the man of my family, and as the running and operating this business, I'm going to put my hand out. I'm going to tell you, if you'll have the courage to reach out and shake it, I will do a job in your backyard, which you will never get another estimate. You will never use anybody else because I will blow your mind with the work that's done. So ironclad handshake, I'll take care of the job. Will you take my word, yes or no? I, I told you. I just. I, then, I you, then the word doesn't mean anything, and I'm going to go ahead and go to another house, and I'm going to keep being a pro, but these fly-by-night tree companies, they're going to offer you less money, and they're going to say, oh, it's cheaper. And when you get a cheap job and they go out there and chop on your trees and they go clean this stuff up. I just didn't. I just, no, when I, they go and they, they chop up these trees and they do a bad job and everything that they cut on after I leave, it takes 30 years to grow a tree and it takes a year to, or a day to tear it down. They're going to go do a bad job on your trees. By the way, when they do the business, the work on your trees, they're not going to sign an agreement with you that says if they kill the tree, guess what? They're going to replace it with a new one. That's why I'm asking. They're out. When I got home, I did that. At the time, my mind froze. See, but don't don't freeze. Listen to me. Yeah. I need you to do me a favor. Everybody, hijack their minds. Hijack their minds. By the way, can I tell you why she says, got to go to work? Number one, you oversold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but you oversold. Okay, you oversold, which means she was willing to sit down and have a conversation, but it took longer than she was thinking. Okay, so number one, you oversold. Get to the get get to it quick, guys. Hey, listen, I'm in out. Um, I don't I don't know. Like obviously, I'm I'm 48 years old. 
you know, you guys are kind of around my, my age. If anybody's around your age, say, I'm sure the ironclad handshake, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's called the handshake. It's an agreement. It says, when I say I'm going to do the work, yeah, there's an agreement in place, which we'll all sign. It says, I'm going to do the work for the money you paid and, you know, for the, and I'm going to get the work for my efforts. But it also says this, that I'm going to do the job right and I'm going to take care of your, your trees like it's your children. Okay. Listen to me. I'm not, I'm not doing this for a job. I'm obsessed with tree work. I'm obsessed with these trees. These trees take 30 years. It's like a child growing a child for 30 years and then abusing them in one day. These trees, somebody needs to go take good care of them and I promise you it's gonna change the whole property. Okay, and that's me today. And I assure you, there's never been anybody in your life that's cared more about the trees in your property in your life than me. And when this person shows up, you want a cheaper bid? You want someone else just to go out there and cut on the trees and clean some stuff up? Or you want someone to do an A plus five, five star job? If you're wanting an A-plus five-star job, you reach your hand out and shake mine now. Ironclad handshake. I'm going to take care of this deal. Old school ways. I'm going to make it right. When you come home, you're going to be blown away. Will you give me the honor to do it? Yes or no? If you shake my hand, welcome to getting the best service of your life. Here it is. What am I doing? I'm going to apply pressure. I need you guys to understand something. Is pressure good or bad? If you're fixing your problem. Okay. But we wouldn't be there to not fix a problem. Right. So that would be silly. Okay, what if somebody says, I feel like you're pressuring me? What would you say? I am. I am. No, no, I am. Why? Because I'm the best No, 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 because I just want you to do what's right. Gotcha. Listen, gotcha. listen, Andy, I feel like you're pressuring me. I understand. I actually am pressuring you. Let me explain why. There's a lot of fly-by-night companies in the area that don't care and don't matter. They're going to come in here and give you cheaper prices, do a crappy job. Then you're going to be pissed and you're going to call me to come back and you're going to end up paying more money. Listen, if your kids were going to cross the road, listen, just hypothetically, if you had children and they were going to go to cross the road and you knew it was bad for them to cross, would you pressure them not to? Yes or no? Yeah, of course you would pressure them because you just want them to do what's right. All I want you to do right now is do what's right. If you have somebody in front of you that's going to do the job and they're going to take care of you and the money that you work hard for, all this is going to get taken care of and you don't have to have any concern and you know that when you come home, it's all going to be done. What else is there to talk about? In a world full of people that don't keep their word anymore, that don't care and have no passion in what they do and they're just doing things as a job, that's not me. That's connecting your heart to your lips. That's just it. Listen, there's a string that goes to people's wallets that first has to go through their heart. There's a string, it goes to their heart, and then it goes to their wallet, okay? Now I'm not telling you to use their heart to get to their wallet, don't misunderstand me. I'm explaining to you that if you really are the best, why can't you lean in? Why, why not? Because you guys don't believe enough. Dude, there's a reason why I've been able to scale past anybody, because I'm willing to do things that no one, guys, I'm unreasonable. When somebody tells me no and I think it's the right thing, I'm going to lean into what I believe in. Now, I want to explain something to you. If you're asking me about something and then I don't, I'm not really sure and I'm like, ah, well, maybe, you know, it's like, it's like I'm not sold. Someone has to be the sold one in the deal. Does that make sense? Someone has to be sold. Who's sold? I'm sold. And by the way, it's my job to make him sold now. Now, can I ask you a question? Are, are, just let's common sense. Do businesses really take good care of people anymore? Not really. Do people really do things with all they got anymore? Are they just showing up, getting a paycheck and doing their job? Yeah. If one of these guys comes to your house and they're doing the work that just shows up to get a paycheck to do their job, do you know the kind of work you're going to get on your property? Do you know the kind of work? Cause I know the kind of work. Cause I get calls every day. You know, most of the calls that I get are when somebody from my company leaves, Okay, and you choose a cheaper company and then we come back out after them to fix the problem they messed up. It ends up costing three times as much, sometimes four times as much, because most times we've got to replace trees because they kill them. Most of the time they don't do a job because they don't care. Guys, doing businesses with amateurs at any cost is unexceptional. What did I say? Doing business with amateurs at any cost is unexceptional. So it doesn't matter what it costs. It matters what it costs if you choose an amateur to do it wrong and then have to go back and pay for a pro later. I'm a pro. I'm going to do it right. See, the, everybody say the word. Say ironclad handshake. Iron clad handshake. It's the greatest close of all time. It's like an old Marine saying. Okay? 
and you say, guys, and by the way, listen to me, if you can look and they are older, you can say, can I ask you a question? Do you agree, agree that in the world there's a shortage of commitment from a lot of people? Yes or no? Like, do you see a shortage of commitment everywhere? Yeah, me too. You're not going to find that with me. The reason why I'm here is because when I commit to a job, yeah, there's an agreement right here in place in which you're going to sign for a minute. It says I'm going to get paid for my efforts, and also you're going to pay this and get the work that you agreed that you wanted. But I'm going to do an ironclad handshake, which says as a man, the operator, the leader of my home, and I don't do this as a job. They say if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I love this. When I go out here and I have my certified eight five-star technicians work on your trees, you're going to be blown away. The only regret you're going to have is you didn't do this five months ago. That's the only regret you're going to have. Once I do one ounce of business with you, you will save my number in your phone and you will never consider anybody else again. As a matter of fact, I will call my shot in advance. I guarantee you will refer me to these five, or at least five friends because you've never had this type of service before. Anyways, do you understand how I keep d d driving it home? Right? Like drive, 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 drive. Now, here's my deal. Do you have the courage to do this? Try it. Yes. Wrong word. Yes. See? Got to shift it. Do you have the courage to do this? Yes. I don't want to lose 200 bucks. No, no, no. You, no, 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 no. Do you want to get really dangerous? It's not even about the money. It's about who you become. It's about who you are. It's about how, how you think of yourself. Dude, I swear on my life, I can walk into any situation and I can close anybody. And I'm not being arrogant. I just know that if my service, if my service is good for somebody, why would I not fight to be the one to, to get the bid? Dude, I see people like, okay, well, call someone else. It's like, dude, you're a jack. Get out of my house. You know what I want? Sometimes I'm going to explain my wife to you. My wife tells me no. You know why? She wants to see how bad I really want it. One time I wanted this drone. I'm like, got to have this drone. Got to have this drone. How much is it? 10 grand. She's like, ah, oh, it's going to end up in the garage, Andy. You're not even going to use it. I'm like, I got to have this drone. I saw a buddy who had a drone. So she's like, okay, fine. Let's get it. Guess where it ended up? In the garage. So the next time I come ask her, she's like, no. Guess what? I ask her again, no. You know what? The next day, I stopped asking her. I really didn't want it. Anything that I really want, I don't stop asking her. I'm like, babe, I need this. I need this. I need this. Do you think my wife wants to tell me no? No, she wants to tell me yes. She just doesn't want to end up in the garage. So she tells me no for a couple days, and she knows the stuff I really want, I'll stay on her ass about. And then she'll give it to me because she wants me to have what I really need. She just doesn't want to give me stuff I don't need. I think clients, they look at you and they're like, dude, like, like it, it, am I worth fighting for? Like, is this job worth fighting for? And there's really not a fight, but is it worth you giving more effort to, into? Let's use the word effort for fighting. Some of you, you're effortless. Your effort is like crap. Your effort is not $400,000 of work and effort. It's $60,000 a year or $100,000 a year in effort. Four times the effort, four times the paycheck. That's the way this works. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.